your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy you walk. Chrissy is hilarious. Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining. But you know what could be to say? I doubt that we'll stand up to something. I haven't been disrespectful to you at all. I was very confused by the title, Everything Everywhere All at Once. That's also what we call it when the ass takes off his shirt. <laughs> 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 I shouldn't be up here. I should be in school on the other side of the ocean. In school. Hello. Welcome to Mayor in the Morning. Yes, back. It's actually morning. Here at the actual AM hour of 11.26. Happy Thursday, December 15th. Holy crap, where is December going? It's flying away. It's disappearing before my very... I need to get a haircut stat. I'm. This is turning into a Hermione Granger situation. It's getting too bushy. The elf on the shelf has moved again. Wow. <laughs> Guys, um, both of the dogs have kennel cough. Oh, no. They've never had it before. I don't know if it was the STD. I don't know if I gave it to them. But uh, we think, we think, well, Muffin had it first. She had it yesterday. And then Waffles has it today. We think maybe they got it at the salon, at the, at the uh, doggy, doggy daycare. Oh, Nina. I'll send you a link. I don't know if you're doing anything right now. I know. I'm annoyed at the Henry Cavill thing, too. He's such a beautiful man. How could they kick him out of Superman? I don't understand it. Like, who else are they going to get? He's perfect. I feel like he was born to be Superman. I'm not even the biggest nerd, and I can see that. But, yeah, the dogs have kennel cough. And it reminded me of the Seinfeld episode where Kramer was like, I have a cough. And then the dog had, well, the dog had the same cough, but he tried to go get, take the dog's medicine. Now I wonder if I have it. <laughs> so what is kennel cough? I want to know how these little, these little gals got it. Kennel cough and dog symptoms, treatment and prevention. Well, they're not at this. This is a, some sort of dog show. Where they're holding up his her flaps. Her mouth flaps. I kind of want to go to a dog show. I think in another life I would be a dog handler. Doesn't that look fun? You're just basically petting them all day. And like, like yep, yep, feels like a dog. Yep, all right. This feels like a dog, but sure does. Okay. Hips are there. That, that There's a tail. Okay, good job. All right, this is good boy detected, and I don't, but I don't like the skinny collar. I don't like the skinny collar and skinny leash that they have to be on in a dog show. It's like, all right, just make sure the dog doesn't outrun you. Make sure that people are not distracted, like you're not flapping around too much as a handler. Oh, he's a good boy. Do you think these dogs that are in dog shows know that they're better than everyone else? Like, do you think they know they're the ultimate example of their breed or do you think they're just like oh we're having fun <laughs> don't pee oh look how cute okay what is kennel cough kennel cough is known as canine infectious tracheobronchi bronchitis oh no highly contagious respiratory disease dogs commonly contract kennel cough at places where large amounts of canines congregate such as boarding, daycare facilities, dog parks, training groups, and dog shows. Dogs can spread it. Haha, <laughs> speak of the devil. It's waffles. Dogs can spread it to one another through airborne droplets. Oh, direct contact, touching noses, or contaminated surfaces, in including water or food bowls. It's highly treatable in most dogs, but it can be more severe in puppies younger than six months or immunocompromised dogs. So if your dog has AIDS, Try to keep it from getting kennel cough. 
What are the symptoms of kennel cough? Oh, a strong cough, often with a honking sound. That is what Muffin had. She was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and first we thought she was reverse sneezing. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, we're like, are you excited? And then we're like, are you throwing up? And then we realized, no, it's a kennel cough, running nose, sneezing, lethargic. I mean, I feel like I have this loss of appetite. Oh, lethargy. Yeah, Muffin was just sort of laying around like. Although kennel cough is easily treatable in healthy dogs, it's important to report coughing symptom to your veterinarian. Oh, 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 the canine distemper virus and canine influenza virus both start off with symptoms nearly identical to kennel cough. Oh no, I hope it's not more serious. So now they're on a bunch of pills. A week or two of rest. They're just taking a lot of pills and peanut butter right now. Nebulizers and vaporizers utilize inhaled antibiotics and bronchilidators have been beneficial. Use a harness to walk the dog rather than, uh, okay, right. Waffles is a harness, but Muffin has a collar. Mm. And then she gave it to Waffles because she coughed on her. Hope she's okay. All right, she keeps walking in and out of the room. She knows I'm talking about her. Well, I guess no, no trips to the dog park until this clears up. This guy seems kind of gay. Run, Schnauzer, run! Oh, this one doesn't have a tail. Where's your tail? I wonder if I wonder if uh. He loses points for not having a tail. Still cute, though. Oh, poor Muffin. <laughs> she was being so cuddly this morning. I feel so bad. I don't want her to be sick. I wonder what I can do. Dogs don't drink tea. What can I do? What can I do for kennel cough? The best way to prevent kennel cough is to vaccinate your dog. Ugh, vaccines. Vaccinate your dog annually. Okay. All right, all right. Wow. They can say sometimes it takes two to three days for it to come through. Sometimes it takes up to 10 days for symptoms to develop. It was definitely a hacking cough or a retch. It, just, it sounded like puking. It sounded like. <laughs> oh. How can you tell if a dog has a fever? They're covered in fur. I guess. Do they feel hot still? Oh. You have to provide. Okay. You have to do a harness. Provide a quiet, warm place for your dog to rest. Run a humidifier to help moisten your dog. Oh, my God. We had a humidifier going in the room last night. I wonder if that's why she wanted to hang out. Because we had a humidifier going. Wipe any discharge from your dog's eyes and nose. Well, I'm always doing that. I'm always picking crusties out of her eyes. Make sure your dog is in a clean, well-ventilated area. Quarantine your dog from other dogs. Whoops. Now Waffles has it. Okay, yes, is kennel cough contagious to humans? It is rare for humans to con contract kennel cough. Oh, no more kisses. Again, if you are a person with AIDS, no, HIV, you could probably get kennel cough. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. How embarrassing would that be to be a human to get kennel cough? Can cats get it? It can develop in cat colonies. Oh, you mean like what Alex Stein has? <laughs> How many cats make up a colony? Four. Okay. Very contagious. Very treatable. Okay. Your dog will be fine in a few weeks. A few weeks? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if there's herbal remedies. Yes, Muffin has kennel cough and so does Waffles now. Although I haven't heard Waffles cough. But yesterday, Muffin was like, 
And we're like, are you excited? She was like, bleh. Ew, there's no discharge. <laughs> I don't think there's any discharge. But again, they're like, always sniffing each other. They're always giving kisses. You just have a cat meatball. It would only take a shit if I had direct eye contact. Oh my God, meatball. I feel embarrassed looking at the dogs when they're pooping. I feel like they need privacy. I'm, I'll just be like. Okay. Well, I'll be looking up kennel cough for the rest of the day. Now I know what I'm doing. Guys, I'm doing a present wrapping stream Saturday. Um, I'm just hoping that the, that the presents that I'm wrapping, like I hope the stream will not be watched by the very people I am wrapping the presents for. That's my only concern. Because that's all the shit I have to wrap. But. I don't want people to watch it and then know what I'm giving them. So I think Saturday I'll do a present wrapping stream and then maybe Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, maybe Saturday I'll do a member stream or Sunday I'll do the present wrapping stream. One or the other. I can teach you guys how to wrap, even though there are other, there's other wrap fluencers out there in the present wrapping sphere. But, you know, maybe I can teach people something new. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't even, like, know your tone of voice, Fritz, but I just read that. <laughs> Xmas is something, indeed. <laughs> Oh, block the people that you're rapping for. I could just say, look, look, homos. Don't watch my stream. You six people don't watch it. Oh, my God. Thank you, David Chandler. I see you up in all the chats. I see you in everybody's chat. Um, Thank you for the fitty. I think I should do an example of how, you know, obviously how to wrap a box. I'll see uh, wrapping hacks like on Instagram, like how to how to make a box out of another box or how to make a bag out of wrapping paper. Are you guys interested in that? Like, I think if you have an odd shaped item, you're just like, I'm just going to wrap around it. Because um, I don't know, I think if you get clothes or something like that, there are so many you can even go to the grocery store. They have uh, like bags, basically like drawstring bags. You can buy them and you just like pull the strings like I, I just don't think there's there's much need for the average person to be able to make a bag out of wrapping paper <laughs> don't watch my stream I think uh I think my dad I'm just gonna send him a basket of uh of goodies from like a hickory farms or like a a Harry and David or something like that, you know, like just meat, cheese. He, he, my dad used to just like, <laughs> he did a lot of eating over the sink. It's it like a low maintenance guy. Like I could just see him like just with a block of cheese and a knife, just like whacking off, not whacking off, but like oh, whacking it off with a knife and just being, oh. that's what he would do that. Always with an apple and a knife. He just would never sit down or make a plate. He's always just be like over the sink or just like whacking. We would call it whacking cheese in our house growing up. Like, oh, we need to get dad some whacking cheese. <laughs> and that would usually be like a mild or sharp cheddar and like some apples. And he'd just be like, oh, whacking cheese. Oh, whacking cheese. Oh, whacking cheese. He did not work for the mob. He was a landscaper. And then when I was in high school, he got a teamster job. So he got he got really lucky because he had a truck driving license from landscaping. And he just knew a guy who was like, hey, can you wake up at 4 a.m.? And he was like, yeah, I can do that. And then he's like, what? And then they were like, welcome to the Teamsters. Oh, my God. What the fuck is under my pants? What? is this 
Oh, it's wow. <gasps> Look at there's one of these crazy ass pins under my pants. What the fuck? Sorry, this is like a the stream is already out of control. That could have stabbed me. Yeah. So dad's gonna get some snacks. Um I also can't really buy clothes for him because he's he lives in Florida and he's doing his own thing. I think it's weird to buy clothes for somebody you're not seeing regularly because you don't even know what they like anymore. Uh, my sister, again, she lives in Vegas and she's married to a gambler, so I don't really know what to get her. I don't know. Jewelry or something? Merch. I could send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Just send everybody merch. They'd be like, huh? What is this? What do you do? We still don't know what a podcast is. <laughs> Jim Marshall, you're a national treasure. Ah, stop. Thanks, Jim. Dontarius, when are Simcast NFTs dropping? I don't even know. I don't think I want to participate in the NFT world. I don't really quite trust it yet. Uh, I, I don't know. Unless it's real easy to do. I'm not gonna send, I'm not gonna send anybody merch. They they know where to find. They know where to find me. Okay. They need, they know how to open up the internet and see what I'm up to. Uh, oh my God. Look at my lights. They're like half out. Only half of the thing of the strand blinks. This looks very like this looks very struggle, struggle, struggle horrific. Like, look at this. Only some of it is blinking. Why? This is lit up, but then just... Can anyone explain? No. It's called... Okay. <laughs> a flap? What do you mean a flap? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to do wrapping. Regular wrapping. Maybe strange item wrapping, oddly sized items wrapping. Um, yeah, I just really, I just really like, and it, you know what I'm going to do? I have to pray that none of them are going to watch it, but I want to make a big like box of treats for the booth guys at Compound. Um, that's the thing. If I tell them not to watch it now, it's like in their head and they're thinking about it. Whereas if I just do it, they might not even see it at all. Oh, man grates. I've heard of the man grates. Man crate. Let's see. Man crate. I, I think it's fun, like, looking into presents for guys because guys are so hard to get. Mancrates.com. And guys are easy and they don't ask for stuff really. They're like, I don't know, men are generally not like high maintenance. They're not like, like women have an easier time. Like, get me this, get me this. It's also like more culturally acceptable for women to be like, I want a coach bag. I'm a little, <laughs> to be like label whores. I don't know. If a dude is a label whore, I think that's kind of gay. Like my sister got my, uh, her husband like a Fendi wallet or something and I was like that's so fucking gay I'm sorry <laughs> like if you need a wallet just get a wallet but if a dude is asking for a, a designer anything yay ah! hi <laughs> oh my god you know how scary it is to like not even looking at the stream and then I hear your voice I'm like gay <laughs> ah I'll be like whacked <laughs> No, I just sent you the link. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> Who's there? Good morning. Hi. Oh my God, Nina. This is so exciting now. The, the quality of the stream was just taken up a notch. Oh, I thought you were doing great. I, I wow. just I woke up to your to your beautiful voice. Oh like, I will like whenever I wake up, I like just check like Twitter and I check uh, you know, YouTube. And then uh, I saw that you were live and I was like, oh, Chrissy, Mayor in the morning. That's how I can start my day. Wow. I'm so angry about Superman. Mary Cavill? Yes. 
And I was Did like, Chrissy can coming? cheer me up. No, nobody saw it coming, man. Nobody saw that coming. Everybody, we all thought, at least I did, um, but most people thought that, especially after his announcement um, in October that he's coming back as Superman, that Zaslop and James Gunn were going to take the DC universe into you know the next phase and they're going to somehow use Flash, uh, the movie, to kind of like bring him and probably Wonder Woman and everybody else in, uh, into like the next, you know, next phase of what DC is going to be. And, uh, and we were all kind of hopeful. Me speaking personally, I was so like done with superhero movies, like especially Marvel. Like I'm kind of like at my wits yeah. end. I'm like, and like, you've known me for long enough, but you know that I don't watch Disney Star Wars anymore because I'm just kind of, I'm fucking done. Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm now kind of done with Marvel and then so with and I was kind of done with DC because I was like, where's DC really going? Like, there's nothing good coming out. Everything sucks. And then that whole thing happened with Henry Cavill saying I'm coming back as Superman. And I was like, oh, my God, there's hope. OK, DC, I'm ready. Let's go. Like, I'm so looking forward to the future. And then all of a sudden they do this. And I'm like, well, where the fuck is DC going then? Like soy boy, Smallville movie. Nobody wants soy boy, teen, Smallville, the movie. Like nobody wants that. Why are we getting this? Everybody yeah. wants like established Superman that's at the fucking, you know, height of his powers mm -hmm. going at, you know, fucking whatever villain that you want to throw at him. Like not soy boy fucking cucked <laughs> superman like we don't want that no pussy ass bitches <laughs> yeah god Good morning and then ah. i heard i heard from someone in my chat because i was live last night with carrie god bless that woman by the way she made I me love laugh carrie so hard Smith. i love her i was i was hanging out with her and somebody super chatted me in the chat that Ca gary was talking to you when the news broke Yes, and he was the one to tell me. It was it was so exciting. <laughs> yeah, he said that Timothy Charlemagne's gonna be like cast as um uh. as the new Superman. And I was like, no. And we started laughing and just like pulling up pictures of Timothy Charlemagne and just like laughing about who's gonna be like the next Superman. And then you know, somebody asked, like, well, who do you think is actually gonna be the next Superman? Like, you know, realistically, like who's who's even a contender? So like I went and I was like, I don't even know because I felt so old. I was like, I don't even know who's yeah. like the young and up and coming, you know, dude other than Timothy. I did. I don't know. So I Googled like who's like the, the up and coming. I, I Googled actors. Yeah, I Look did. At this. I was like, young this actors. Is, this is a barista. This is not Superman. <laughs> oh, my God. The picture that we pulled up was the one of him in a dress. He's wearing lipstick here. What the? Yeah, there's ones of him in a dress like. He wears nighties. Uh, why? In a dress? This is yeah. gross. But then, so I started looking them up. And all of the kids, like, I didn't really know, except for one, which is the the kid from Smallville. Or not Smallville. <laughs> the kid from Cobra Kai. Um, okay. Robbie from that? Cobra Kai. I thought maybe, okay, like, if we're really, like, if we're really talking about this which we shouldn't be because it's fucking terrible we should bring back henry cavill but maybe that kid could actually pull it off like he's got he's got a good body because we know he works out for cobra kai mm -hmm. he's got he's the, hot he, he's got the nice hair old, like you can wait. give him the superman curl hold on how old is he can i say that he's hot uh, except he's a little too short he's like five eight or something ah uh, who cares that's the only thing that's the problem. But I'll take it. That. Yeah, Robbie's a, a little snack. Wait, how old is he? Hold on. Let's. Yeah, you're phone. like. Let me check if he's 18. <laughs> let me make sure I can. Let me make sure I can. Uh, 20. Okay. Thank okay, you. we're Ooh. good. We're good. We're good. Phew. Yeah, he's a snack. And Vidi's like, Nina, don't use kid and good body to describe the same. No, person. but he's so <laughs> young. It's like I can't be like. But you're right. You're right. He's very boy next door. He's a very nice looking young man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I didn't like him with his long, like the long, like the bowl cut that he had. Yeah, I didn't like that either. I thought that was kind of gee, but 
he was great in that role. Like I really believed him as an angsty young man. Yeah. So he can pl probably pl play like soy boy, you know, emo Superman. He can I go can soy or he can go masculine. He yeah. Really... I can see it. He's got the range. Yeah. <sighs> soy for man. Yeah, hey, Yellow with... Flash is in the chat. He agrees. He's got the jawline for it. Yeah. He agrees with long He's hair. got the little dimple. He's got or the little chin thingy. Uh, this is peak Robbie right here. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> the eyebrows that go up like this. Like, and he's like he looks constipated in that shot. Yeah. Constipated Robbie is peak Robbie. Totally. Dang. Uh, okay. No, he's 20. Watch them make Miguel fucking <laughs> Superman, though. You know, that's, that's where this is heading. Okay. We're, we're heading to like the woke fucking, let's, you know, let's get some colorful Supermans over here. Wait, okay. Who do we pick for black Superman? Uh, obviously, Jaden Smith. Come on now. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh no. Oh right. Now I know who he is. No. <laughs> uh he was like on the top ten list of most famous young people. Who would be a good black Superman? Black no, we're talking Superman. young, young Superman, not like old Superman. Okay. What about, oh God, this is so bad. I don't know any other fucking names. I don't either. This is why I had to <laughs> Google it, Chrissy, because I was like, who's ah, young? Who's the best, it boy now? Like It, it boy. <laughs> Who is the best? Oh, see, you click on it and it's not what you wanted to do. The best black actors under 40. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my algorithm is going to be so confused at me. The guy oh. who played, um... Oh my god, this is horrible. I don't know their names. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who played the Cap's friend. The, that black guy. This is bad. Cap's this friend. Whole, this this should be a whole segment. Me trying to he is he is guy's name. He had wings. Uh, you mean Falcon? Yes. Okay. Falcon guy could be Black Superman. Um he is oh Michael my B. God. Jordan could be Black Superman. Michael B. Jordan could do it, I think. Um, oh my god. Uh Falcon is Anthony Mackie. You're talking about Anthony. Okay, Mackie. yes. Okay. Oh Lord, it's hard. That's what she um, said. Um, what about the guy from Get Out? No, no, no. No. We need someone good looking. Like, come on. You don't think we'll he's good looking? Superman. No. He looks a little bit like a frog. Michael B. Jordan is good looking. Like, yes. Yeah. What makes somebody good looking? <laughs> <laughs> There's a science to this. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. <laughs> like a boomer. Look at my fucking search. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this duck duck of black actors. And I'm just like, <laughs> there's no names. <laughs> you're you're so white. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm looking at the same person. Um, do you guys all know each other? Oh my that. god! I know what each other's names are? I know Eddie Murphy. That's about it. Well, I mean, there's um, Will Smith on there. John Boyega. You know that ain't you. happening. No, no. He could be Slapper Man. Yeah, not Superman. <laughs> Slapper Man. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Slapper Man. His power is to go around slapping Ooh. folks. Thanks, David Chandler. Her name is Chrissy, and she's here to say, I'm rapping and I'm rapping for your Christmas day. Oh, I'm doing a rapping stream this weekend, Nina. And I'm going to have a backwards hat. Oh. And I'm going to rap strange items. Strange items? Yeah. I'm going to get some irregular shaped items to show people how to wrap them. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. When I was little, I used to just take shit out of the basement and wrap it up and give it to people for gifts. Oh, I would take old ma like stacks of old magazines and wrap it up and give That's it to like so my brother, and then he'd open it and I'd cr I would just die laughing. Oh, you mm -hmm. got you a gift. It's some garbage from the basement, huh? It's a mean thing to do, <laughs> but I didn't have money. I didn't have an allowance. I didn't have a job. Like, what do you want from me? And now, okay, chat. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
is this a thing that all kids do? They go, oh, I want to give someone this. But it's like the idea of kids giving people presents is so fucking lame to me because it's like you don't have any money. Like, yeah. like stop wanting to because that's somebody else that has to buy that shit. Like yep. be a kid still. Don't. Oh, this is from this kid. They're giving. No, nobody. You don't have any money. Like no. unless 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 they make the gift, unless you're saving up your like piggy bank money and you want to like buy some that's fine yeah but the whole idea that like an adult has to buy something for the kid on to behalf give of the kid yeah to another yeah, yeah. adult i think that's the dumbest shit ever i the hate that why do i why does that you. fill me with rage why does that fill me with rage? i'm crushing their dreams wow okay or how about i'm keeping someone from getting delusional <laughs> yeah make the gift do a craft i, I would just say hate make the gift yeah. It's a slippery slope. What if what if the a kid is like, oh, I want to give I want to give Pop Pop a cashmere sweater, please. We're poor. And you're like, come on. Oh, I want to <laughs> give I want to give my brother an Xbox. Sorry, like, son. We can't you, afford that. We're poor. What the fuck are you thinking? Like, get <laughs> ugh. Why does this fill me with anger? I think I get triggered by things. If I see kids having a better childhood than me, I get very triggered and angry oh by that. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's bad, though. I know, but it's funny. Like, uh, speaking of kids, um, yeah, Tor goes right. Cracking the kids' channels back. Like the cracking mm. kid. All right. Yay. Speaking of kids, uh, he's a kid that I am I'm fine with. Um, yes. He's great. The terminally ill youtube star has his channel back finally after thank we god. made a stink for a whole day yeah thank god i was screaming what a stupid too. oversight on youtube's part how many terminally ill youtuber kids are there like you shouldn't they should know honestly like quote unquote oversight like it's pretty fucking yeah, convenient okay mm -hmm. like you know last night i saw that quote or that tweet from andy signor and he's like we don't need to start a war it's just an error and i'm like what was this error exactly like it just feels like it's it's so convenient it, it feels so hollow you're like uh-huh mm -hmm. they they mm -hmm. knew they were fully aware of this kid's account other people have tweeted prior to his uh banning that youtube was fully aware and then they're speed tracking the platform and then all of a sudden the, the account's gone it's like mm. yeah right like, uh, like he know. got like he got too many followers too quickly that or false flag by amber turd stands which i think that's what happened well, i i still think that that's what happened but hey that's so gross he, he's just he's back now so he's back now that's all that really matters so thank Maybe god not. I wonder if he'll, he'll do an interview. He's or he's is he making content? I don't know. Crypto Kev, Chrissy Nina on a scale of one to ten, how likely is as to tickle himself yeah. with ostrich feathers on a daily basis? I mean, I would say two. I haven't heard him speak about ostrich feathers or really yeah. any type of feather. Where is this coming so from? So I would say this is <laughs> unlikely. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's any ostriches around him. Like, how is he getting ostrich yeah, feathers? He's what in New Zealand? Yeah. Are there even ostriches <laughs> there? What's up, Nvidia? Anybody do a life check on Anna after the news? Oh, right. I did. Well, wellness check. I did. She's surviving. She's all right. She's she's not handling it well. No, I can imagine. She might be back on the drugs. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> back on the bottle, and by that I mean Mio, Master Austin. Thank you for the super sticker. Well, now he just has more time for uh, being in everyone's spank bank. No, I don't know. I, there's no way to spin it. <laughs> I'm clicking off my window of black actors. That's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make flashcards. Yeah, uh, somebody somebody just like tagged me in a post that like shows like Tom Holland as Superman. And it's like, no, no, bro. No. Tom Holland is already Spider Man. They're not going to make him also freaking. He Superman. is very good at Spider Man. He is not a no. He is not, not a Superman. Superman. You can't be two different mans. <sighs> no, no, he is not giving me Superman. We need a man to play Superman. Okay, not a boy. Yeah, but that's what it, what's happening with with the stupid reboot that they're doing. 
even though he says it's not going to be an origin story, he still said it's going to be young Superman. I'm guessing it's going to be like basically young Superman just as he's left uh, his hometown to go to Metropolis. And that's like right when he meets, you know, Lo Lois Lane and blah, blah, blah. But we don't want that. We want like an established, like we've already seen all of this shit. Yeah. We want established Superman that that is like at the top of his game. We've wanted that forever. And they have Henry Cavill. This is so stupid. Henry Cavill yeah. should be the star. We're not going to have Lois Lane, but get ready for Shaniqua Lane. It's all different now. You know that's happening. <laughs> you know that's happening. And like, and then like Shaniqua is going to fall into like a pool and like can't swim. And that that's going to be Superman's actually first save because it's going to be him as a lifeguard. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, that's happening. Or like mm -hmm. Sh Shariah or something. I don't know. <laughs> Shirali. <laughs> Shariah Lane. Shariah. It's going to be like Middle Eastern or something. I don't know. Oh, God. Yuck. Um, all right, let's talk about something fun, 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 fun. I'm all right. so excited for you that you're getting the kazoo kid <laughs> on your show. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to kazoo pill everyone. It's amazing. I, I get copyright struck like left and right every time I play it, but I don't care. People need to know. <laughs> people need to know about That's this. That's like me. I love that uh, zombie Jonathan kid. And I, I, oh, I, I tried to, I like turtles. Him. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I tried to track him down because I was like, I want this kid on my show. Like, I would love to talk to him. And like, he, like, apparently hates the internet. Like, no one knows where he is. You can't find wow. him. He's like anonymous, even though he's like the biggest meme. But oh, he went oh, anonymous oh. after like a certain year. It's probably um, harder to find him too because he was so covered in makeup. Yeah. Well, he like there was a grown up like when he grew up, he had um, like he had a couple shows. With, like, I think he did something with uh, oh God what was it, what was that guy, Josh Point O, you know that guy that or Tosh Point O, the guy that used to work for Comedy Central. Oh, yeah. and they would go Tosh through the YouTube out. videos. Yeah, so he did like this thing with him for for like a one skit. And then after oh that, God. he was gone. Look at this! Look at this painting. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, I like turtles. I like turtles. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to track this guy down so that I can uh, talk to him. This one's weird. Great. I don't love yeah, this I, one. That's weird. <laughs> I can see you getting this tattooed on you. <laughs> no. Why not? I'm never, I'm never getting a tattoo. And if I was going to get a tattoo, it's going to be Henry Cavill's face. <laughs> oh. I would wear this. I would wear this to the gym. I'm I'm making merch. Let's just say that. Yes. What's going to be your merch? It's I, I'm gonna I'm not I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's coming out Don't really it. soon. Does it really involve soon. a turtle? Yeah, it it involves zombie Jonathan for sure. Is it a turtle in a in a margarita? <laughs> No, but that that's that's cute. It's like combining all the th all the things, like a positive uh, a positive positive turtle. news positive turtle. Okay, I was just about to. Okay, I'm really getting into like what people think are awesome gifts for men. Okay, oh, this, this is man is great. great. Okay, because I need this is I man need great. ideas. I need ideas. Okay. Let's do this. What are the best gifts for men? I, definitely Jersey liquor if they're drinkers. Jersey. Definitely liquor. Okay. This is this is in no way a promotion of man crates. This is just an example. Like I always like to just see. Well, okay. What do people think men want? Personalized whiskey appreciation crate with yes. two glasses. But here's the thing. Like adults at this point, everybody has glasses. So is you can it always use more because people true. get they, drunk they and broken. smash them or like you could always use more. That's true. They break and these could be special occasion like, oh, these are my monogrammed yeah. glasses. And I like this because this is not gay. Yeah. And like not bad for like a hundred bucks. It gets a what do you what comes with it? Uh, oh, a grand jerky heart. Ew. A heart made of jerky. I would right, also you, say if the person is already an established like whiskey drinker, drinker 
just mm-hmm. get him a really nice bottle, like an expensive bottle of whiskey. Like you don't have to get the whole set. Just <laughs> put the says, money down yeah. to get a better whiskey than to get the whole. What do you guys stuff. think of an ice sphere mold? What do you guys think of the I circular ice cube? I like it. I think it's cool. Because this will last you, I think, probably all night instead of being like, I have to go get more ice. Yeah, it's it's <gasps> futuristic you looking too. Like Maybe we should get him an ice mold. You should, I think you should get one for Ryan. Maybe we should get him like a yeah. glass. Maybe Actually, we totally don't have it. whiskey. We don't really have like glasses this size. You don't have whiskey He's, glasses? No. He sometimes just drinks it out of a mug. Or <laughs> I just contradicted myself. I'm like, everyone has glasses. <laughs> like, we don't Girl, if your man's drinking whiskey out of a mug, <laughs> you're gonna need to get yourself a set, girl. Or Come a on. mug, or like um, I don't know, like a fi- there's fine china glasses, but that's not. Now I, I know, know what to get you as a wedding gift. Look at this Illuminati. You can get Illuminati design. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Okay, okay. Whiskey appreciation crate. Not not bad. Okay. Not bad. Grill not master. Bad at all. Grill master. Uh various sauces with shirtless men. That seems manly. This is what? Something to put your fingers in? Yeah, this what is, is that? Our cutter. What is this? Oh, it's a brass knuckle meat tenderizer. Ooh, Ooh. you can pretend you're in prison. That's cool. Meat thermometers. Uh some sort of a spice. I just want that blend. meat knuckle thing now. Yeah. That's you cool. You could do a lot of things with this. You could stick your penis in it. Oh, my. Don't, though. How small Wood is chips? your penis? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't love this. I don't. This doesn't yeah. look like it's all that much. I just like the meat tenderizer knuckle thing. Like, that's the yeah. only thing I like from this. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the grill master crate. Okay. Now we have a golf ball crate. Personalized golf, golf balls, yeah, okay. for the golf lover. But what ha- I mean, what's the point? I like you're just how it gonna says p- man crate on it. You're just gonna put them away. You're just gonna lose them. You're gonna put them in your man crate box. Oh, I like this. I like the uh, monogrammed looking initial one. Yeah, those are cool. I'm such a. I'm so negative. I'm like, what? What's the difference? You're just gonna put them away. They're just gonna. They're just going to get lost, just like everything in life. <laughs> That's the whole point of the crate, Chrissy. Yeah. Yeah. Personalized whiskey making kit. What? Nobody Does anybody want to make their own whiskey? Let's be honest. Maybe some crazy people. This is cute, though. That is really cute. Look how cute and small this is. Oh. It's is this gay, though, because it is small. Yeah, it looks kind of gay. Look at the way that guy's like holding the yeah, knob. It's, you think this guy feels emasculated? He's like, please cut my head out of this photo. I can't be seen with this gay small whiskey barrel. He's also got like that tiny cup. Like it's like it's not even like a manly whiskey tiny. cup. It's like this little yeah. tiny. He's like, stop telling everyone my name. I don't want them to find me. Don't put Thomas on there. Cute though. Definitely cute. And decorative, but I don't like the game. I, I think people would like making their own booze, but maybe like not mini booze. I mean, like, it, it's a bestseller. Maybe they're just slapping this label on everything. Like these all <laughs> come on, man crates. I'm telling you, this is a bestseller. Personalized Bloody Mary crate. More booze. What is the point? Everyone can go buy tomato juice. Oh, because yeah, it comes with the one, seasoning. Yeah, I don't know about this. A fun I mean, cup. Everybody can go get that. Themselves. I like this fun cup. Uh, spices. Everyone can get Clamato. Yeah. Pepperoni straws. Okay. Bacon rim shot. All right. I guess if you're really into Bloody Marys, then this makes sense. I guess. I don't. I don't think I've ever known anyone who's like super into Bloody Marys. Like I had an ex boyfriend who men who are into Bloody Marys. It's kind of a red flag. Like. I don't know. I, I think I just am jaded because this person, the person that was into Bloody Marys broke up with me over Skype. So now I've. You're I resentful. Just, uh, I'm resentful. And Bloody Marys are like kind of triggering for me. Like my hu- my husband drinks them, but it's not like, oh, I- give me a Bloody Mary. Like that's not his first drink. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's, it's like- not easy. They're not yeah. easy. You can't just like you're not going to just whip it up. Only people that are really into it is like, oh, oh yeah. 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 I like them when I'm hungover at brunch, which I haven't been to a brunch in like years. 
I don't like them at all. I'm not a fan. And you know what? I eat them. I eat them. I drank them when I was in New Orleans because they're real good there. Hmm. Making your own alcohol is a popular man hobby, says NVIDIA. NVIDIA is also into Bloody Marys. NVIDIA, you can do no wrong. Be into whatever you're into. I'll never, I'll never stop. I'll never stop loving you. Okay, moving on. Exotic jerky toolbox. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let me check in my jerky toolbox. I don't I know about this. It should be tools made of jerky i want to see a jerky wrench i want to see a jerky screwdriver jerky nails yeah we need to see jerky themed things and then okay and then it's an actual usable toolbox after okay eh. I don't know. Eh. I, mean, I already have a toolbox most, besides that toolbox looks like it's like a fucking kid's lunchbox like this what looks is like that a joke yeah, I remember my dad had in his workshop like a big ass, like almost refrigerator sized toolbox. Yeah, what the fuck is that? That looks like with many trays. That looks like a soy boy's toolbox. Like, this is a joke. This may be a good box toolbox. This could here. be for your car. This could be a car toolbox. Like okay, all right, car supplies. Like a tiny, a tiny toolbox. What a chat. Tell us what you think of these. Patrick gifts. And, like, T says, don't ever shop for me. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Patrick T. Hey, you know what? What we're doing right now is what every woman in your life does every fucking year. Okay. Yep, none of, none of us know what to get you people. <laughs> you it's all people. true. <laughs> <laughs> right? We always find ourselves at a department store like, I guess, a sweater. I don't know. I like, don't do they know. have clean shirts? Shaving they have stuff? Yeah. Like, I fucking know. I don't know. Underwear? I guess. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, a beer kit. I like these glasses. Okay, I, I beer like kit. I can see. Like this is this is good. You got some beer glasses. Ooh, you got a bottle Rupert. opener. Rupert, the bottle opener. Or no Robert. <laughs> Rupert is a fun name. All right, comes with fun coasters. Nuts. This is for a simple man with simple tastes. Like Check my out Uncle these Billy, nuts. I think would like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, very simple. Yeah. I hope that this thing is magnetized. Like there should not yeah. be a beer opener that's not magnetized at this point. You got to have them on your fridge. You have to because no one wants to be rooting through a drawer. Yeah. Okay. I, American I have a, a, my favorite bottle opener. I got it from Universal Universal Studios. Is like in the shape of um, that that fucking um, surly, like you know the beer <laughs> from, <laughs> from the mm. Simpsons. He's like he's yes, he's surly dude. I have that. I literally have that on my fridge. Surly the bottle. Opener. Yes. Oh my god, it's on the fridge right now. I got it the last time I was in uh, Universal. I got funny. that. Oh my god, that's you know great. Crazy? I and love I that. This too. I've had this for easily six months i got this like i meant to give it to my brother but i'm just never gonna see him it's like a simpsons oh, keychain like key yeah but like i just feel like he wouldn't appreciate this or care so maybe i'll give it to the uh you should just put it in a stock studio this year. but he's Something he suffer. lives in uh north carolina i'm not gonna see oh, him oh okay what am I gonna just send this in an envelope? With yeah, this is for your stocking stuff, or bitch. <laughs> yeah. Or I could give it to uh, the compound media office manager, who's also named Eric. There you go. Yeah, maybe he'll appreciate this, especially if his spelling is the same. Oh thing. yeah, because I've never yeah. really quite seen people spell it like that. It's uh, I think this is like a this is a Norwegian spelling. Ah. I usually see it with a C in the end. I think it looks cool. It looks much cooler with an a, with a K. I do. I like that too. I like it better with a K. I like a gently ethnic looking name. <laughs> American tour jerky crate. Again, like, I don't know. Tuna jerky? No. Ugh. Gross. There, I feel like you get somebody this and maybe one thing out of all these is good and the rest of these are fucking weird. They have one bite yeah. and they, like, they just keep it around until it goes bad and then they throw it out like Four months later i agreed this is these are all a risk unless you know unless you know I'll, specifically like the brand or unless you happen what it to is. this person that you're buying for is like i fucking love jerky i'll eat anything i'll eat <laughs> yeah. jerky 
Ew, Throw it at me. I'll eat it. Gross. I mean, I've had salmon jerky, and salmon jerky is pretty good, but tuna jerky, like that sounds weird. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Set of pint glasses to personalize. That's cool. Shower beer crate. Okay. If you want to, this is for someone who drinks in the shower. Wow. I don't know if I want to enable people that hardcore. What is this for? Oh, it's a waterproof speaker. Okay, that's waterproof cute. speaker is cool. Okay, that's great. Is this a plastic cup? I like this little cup. I I, ha I have one of those in my shower. Ooh. The speaker, not the plastic cup. Wow. Okay. Some of these designs are gay, but oh look, there you go. You could drink you in go. the shower. Okay, this is I think this would be a perfect <laughs> gift for Cecil. Ooh. Beer soap. Beer soap. That's funny. I like it. And a little speaker. There's something fun. Yeah. Like I like if somebody's this one. drinking in the shower. That's a fun. That's gonna be a fun night. I, I like this one. This one's yeah. This one's more fun than the jerky kit. Yeah. Pizza grilling crate. Who are men into pizza? This would be for your own. Italian husband. If you have a little pizza oven. This little roller, little easy bake oven for men, but like, <laughs> it's like a yeah. pizza center. It's easy bake oven. Ma Mount rubs more. Okay, if they're into rubs, oh. the rubs kit in history. Jerky cane. 30 bucks for a single jerky cane seems like Do a lot, though. Do men really love jerky all that much? Like, there's a lot of jerky going on in here. I think if you know somebody on keto, like, I was on a jerky kick when I was, like, really in the in the throes of keto. Um. okay. All um, right. But I think $30 for a single candy yeah, cane that's, of jerky that's a bit seems, much. seems like, I mean, I guess these are all kind of expensive, but... <gasps> Personalized neon bar sign. This is cool. Or if you know somebody, this is kind of a lot, but like if you know somebody who that's has cool. their own little bar, that's really cool. Yep. And it blinks. Booze infused jerky. Okay. Oh my God. This is gay. In the shape of a bouquet. Oh, wow. This is so gay. No, no man wants anything in the shape of a bouquet. Here, honey, I got you some. Unless this is for flowers. a gay man, then yeah, I mean, gay it. men might. <laughs> uh, lure making. What's that? For if you're a fisherman. Oh, wow! This is like an easy bake oven, but for making fishing lure. Okay, this I think for a fisherman, this would be cool. Like somebody who likes fishing. Make your own. I don't know what this is, but it's just a bottle labeled stink. Although, like, I know fisher people, like, fishermen that would be like, fuck off. Like, I'm not creative. Like, I don't want to make my own. Yeah. I guess if they're crafty. Yeah. Like, they would or, have to be crafty. Or they go fishing with, like, a daughter, like, or a little kid that is crafty. Oh, yeah. Then you could that's good. Together. Yeah. That's a good that's idea. Fun. You can make it purple or pink. Like, all right, you can pick a color. Yeah. You can catch girl fish with this lure. What is this? What is animal is this even supposed to be? I think it's a crab. I see like crab looking. But where's its head? I don't understand. I think, I think the head is <laughs> supposed to be like the very <laughs> front. It's like it's like it's oh, antennas. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like it's, in the, it's in antennas or whatever. With no back legs. I guess they don't care. It's, it's a it's an alien. They're catching animals that are also dumb. So, oh, speaking of like sea creatures, are you gonna go see Avatar under the water? I ha probably have to see it. Maybe I can get a digital version sent to me. Uh, but I don't I, have time to see it before Friday. Oh yeah, because Carrie told me she's gonna go see because it's your homework for Friday night times. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have scheduled so many things if I knew it's three fucking hours. That uh, yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, real. I heard it's that's fucking terrible. Yeah, I heard that pr they make pregnant women fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie told me about that last night. I was okay. like, what? The Admiral saying real lures are tiny with bright colors and feathers and shit. Oh. Well, it sounds like Admiral, you'd be a good uh, person for the lure kit. Maybe you should go make your own. 
Lore kit. That's, wow, this is not what Lore's look like. All right, well, he's got some beef with the uh, Admiral no got pun triggered. In, no pun intended. <laughs> we got beef with the man crates lore kit. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else in this other than <laughs> booze and jerky? Man chow. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, no. Personalized whiskey. Again, it's like all variations. What is this? Folding knife making kit. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Folding there is knife a time, making kit. There's okay. maybe a time in my dad's life that he would have thought this was cool. See, out of stock. See, you know that was yeah. a good buy. Yeah. they're out of stock already. This is cool. This is like if you have a fucking blue collar dude, if you're like a homesteader and like maybe if you're married to Owen Benjamin and you're living off the land. Dude, yeah, I, yeah, get him I a knife making kit. I love the guy they got go like doing yeah. this. Like, look at this Chad with his this beard. Guy's based, red pill, pure blood, all the way. Yeah, man. Like look, he this guy's <laughs> Santa Claus, like you know, yeah. on his time off. That's that's, that's what cool. he's doing. I'm gonna make a knife. That's great. Nuts. What the? Okay, I have to know what man chow is. What is man chow? Yeah, what is that? Is it like Sweet moonshine man chow. They're not telling us what it is. Is it just like a dipped pretzel? Okay, this appears to be Chex Mix. Oh my gosh. It's basically pretzels covered in like yeah, so yeah, frosted Chex good. Mix. This is elevated cereal. Okay. All right, making your own knife. That's pretty fucking cool, but it's you can't get it anymore. Steak knife crate. Okay, it's always, yeah, things to cut meat on. That's fun. Good knives are always good. Yeah. But again, they're gone now. Knife, oh, stacked birchback knife making kit. Oh, that's cool, Ooh, too. wooden RC car kit. That's See, that's done. sold out, too. All right, that's man crates. Let's see. What else does the internet say we should buy? Men in the chat, tell us what you would like to get for for uh, gifts because a lot of us ladies are really clueless and we go into a hot panic figuring out what to get you. This is true. What do you think like Elon Musk is getting for Christmas? Like he has everything. <sighs> I know. It's like, what do you get a man that has bir everything. Probably a birch knife making kit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think, you know, me Elon has a good sense of humor. So I think like some sort of gag gift. Like he would like like funny stuff. I saw this video today. Like, don't trust Elon. He's a he's essentially a government employee. All the credits he gets from selling Teslas are from the government. Don't trust. Like I went oh down a God. don't trust Elon rabbit hole this morning. I mean, I don't trust them at all because, you know, he wants to turn us into AI at some point. I mean, I I, I, I saw yeah. that. I saw that guy coming from a mile away, but you know Ooh, what? It sounds like you're an anti-chipper, Nina. I am an anti-chipper. I'm an anti-AI person. I, I'm not for AI, like, whatsoever. And, like, to all the people in the chat who's like, oh, this is solution to, like, the AI thing. Get the fuck out of here. Quit coping. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, that, that's, like, not yeah. Oh, sure. Shit. Just, like, the lab-created babies are going to be for people with uh, birth defects or uh, too old to make a baby. Yeah, right. They're going to use it so they can own and create an army of warriors. Exactly. And so they can own your life for the rest of your life. Just, like, the brain chip. Oh, it's for blind people. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm sure you right. guys are really going to stop at blind people. Until, like, you know, you can actually fucking use the chip to access the brain of the people and then control them. Like, fuck mm. off with this shit. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, I saw that guy come from a mile away. But, but you know what? Right now, though, mm, he's like the evil we know versus, like, whatever the fuck <sighs> this woke trash evil is. So I'm like, all right, you know yeah. what? I'll side with you for a bit, Elon, until it's we like, get rid of these fuckers. you're making Twitter fun. That's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is Did what you see shocked or something like last night. I was yes. like, "What is happening? Like, what the fuck?" I'm gonna bring that up next. Uh, 100 trending Christmas gift ideas. This is based on Google searches. I want to see the Duck Duck Ooh, Go version. Uh, okay, so apparently this is very popular. Hold on, why people shop with Google more than a billion times per day. I have um, to do my Christmas shopping today, Chrissy. It's way too late. You haven't yet? No. Wow. Like, I have to, like, 
buy my nephew's gift today. Yeah. I what are you have get to. Him? Oh my God. It's already so Hold late. Me. I think I'm gonna get him the the because he apparently he's into Star Wars Lego right now. So I think I'm gonna get him the Ooh. like the Yoda like okay. Star Wars Lego, the one that you can build from like Yeah. This is really expensive. Who's gonna spend five hundred and fifty dollars on a on a farm? Why? Like, so if you're really into it and this is maybe a group present, I don't know, but this seems like a lot. That seems like a lot to me. Uh, I got my niece and nephew because they're both into drawing right now. And like um, Ava's really into coloring. So I got them both oh. like big, these big like art kits with like crayons, like oil crayons, watercolor markers, uh, other things. And then has like a basically an easel that folds up. It's like a crate, but it like not a crate. It's honestly like a, like, i'm on a crate kick right it's just like you unfold it and then it has a thing i know exactly what you're talking about someone gave me one for christmas when i was little and i was like i'm, I'm like a huge artist too like especially back then i was like really into art and yeah that's a wonderful gift chrissy like i was i was obsessed i was like i love this so much as everything I got her so a unicorn dope. coloring book because she's really into unicorns. I got her like a Aww. mermaid Barbie. Uh, oh, so cute. God, what else? And then I got Dylan the same thing, a big crate, like the the art thing. And then a cool like Hot Wheels monster truck thing where you can like ex like basically like explode the monster trucks through a hoop of fire. It's not nice. real fire. It's, but it's like it's cool. That's dope. And uh, something I have to talk Christmas. to you about somebody's Christmas gift after, like, uh, like in the private chat or something, or like later, because I was, I'm like racking my brain as to what to get this person. Because I'm like, what do you get okay. the person who has everything? I don't yeah, know. We're trying to figure and that I don't want to break the fucking bank. Yeah, this is ooh a rainbow keyboard. It's a custom gaming keyboard. I think I bought this for content house and then returned it just so I we could have, use it for the I have weekend. one of those but it's not a razor it's a logitech it's very good uh what this seems like a psyop to me who's looking for water activated eyeliner what the fuck who is who wants this is this for teenage girls is this yeah, TikTok is this? Thing? i have not heard of i've never water even activated heard of this eyeliner. me either no this is like okay if you're like a 15 year old girl or if you're, if you're like maybe this applies to you if you're like a funky 17 year old but uh, no none of these colors are really usable except for maybe the navy the black this mm. is like a clown clown painting kit uh <laughs> these are crazy expensive why are these headphones 470 plus dollars they're apple yeah, you don't need Apple headphones that are good. A disgusting yellow messenger bag. Nobody wants this. What is that? $79 for that? No. That's ugly. You get messenger bags for cheaper than that that are good. Yellow? That's not going to... No. It's not even like the good kind of yellow. It's like the ugly, yeah. like mustardy. I don't know. This is like, like oh, I found this in a bit in a, in a clearance bin. Yeah. At TJ Maxx. And this is the only <laughs> yeah. One totally. like, Here's their and value it, village fucking case, messenger bag. You better not be paying eighty dollars for it. You better be playing paying bargain bin prices. So yeah, this is totally. a no on all fronts. Uh, a kooky modern looking kettle. Very expensive. One hundred and seventy to not one ninety five. Get the fuck out of here with this. I mean, it's very cute, but. For that much money, though, like no way, thirty dollars, no. okay, thirty, yeah, you forty can... bucks max. This makes hot water, okay. Yeah, get out of here. Unless, like, uh, that's the thing. When I'm buying rich people presents, it's a whole different game. Like when I was I good, when I it was Ann Coulter's birthday recently, and I was like, I can't just get her what I would get myself. Like I have to think, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, rich people think she's elegant, she's classy. Maybe she um, would like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. If you're in someone's house and they've got a bunch of shit that looks like this, uh, this is what this is millennial pink. This was a color that was very popular a couple years ago. Yeah. But again, like, that. yeah, if if you got a kooky 
chick in your life that would like a funny looking kettle, then by all means, a cotton napper. What is this? A blanket? I think so. 199 to 279. That's got to be like the best, softest fucking blanket I've ever used in my yeah. life. I don't know. I don't love the large knit. Like, what's this called? What's the what do the knitters call this? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like braids. Yeah, I don't want to be able to like really see. I'm not a huge a fan. Yeah. yeah, I don't like this. Looks this looks like it doesn't have to be two hundred dollars. God, two seventy nine for that. Get the That's fuck crazy. out of here. Weighted. Okay, it's weighted. Oh, weighted. Okay, at least it's it's got some. So if you have nobody, you don't have a man in your house that can lay on you, you would give this to a lonely <laughs> woman. Here, Nana, have a weighted blanket and think, and look at pictures of Pop Pop with your weighted blanket on you. Oh, my God. That's so sad. <laughs> really this just became like the saddest Christmas present uh, ever. <laughs> well, you think about yeah, like why people would need this. Uh, unless, you know, someone's really into blanket culture. You know, if someone's into robes and shit. Yeah. Okay, electric toothbrush. I like how they've brought down the price point on the electric toothbrush. Like the one I bought one years ago, like straight up from my dentist. Like I fell for it, and they had a pink one. Like right as I was sitting in the exam room, and it was like staring me in the face for twenty minutes. I was like, "All right, I'll get that," but it has lasted me for like years now. Oh, that's so I'm, good. I'm suspect of this. What is this? A battery operated toothbrush? Okay, the yeah, seventeen to forty dollars. How long is this? How, yeah. Like, are you blowing? How many batteries are you blowing through on this? Yeah, I don't know about this because it's not like rechargeable. Just get a charge. Just when it comes to a toothbrush, spend the money, get the rechargeable one. Yep. Definitely. This seems. Maybe you take this for traveling if you don't want to take your expensive other electric toothbrush oh god just like use a regular toothbrush for like <laughs> yeah. five days jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I used to take my electric toothbrush with me traveling and then i took like a, a long hard look at the mirror and i'm like what are you doing like, are you <laughs> going on a trip like we're you, you gonna put it in the case and now you have this thing that takes up more room why just yeah use, use a regular fucking toothbrush okay um this Whoa, is a, what's this? A dehydrator. Oh, it's a dehydrator. Dehydrate all the fruit you have. All right. See, okay, 130 for a food dehydrator, yeah. and it looks really nice. Yeah, this is an appliance. Okay, so, this is, like, yeah, this, this is good. This is this is probably the only gift or the only item on here that I'm like, all right, this is a good value for what you're getting offered. Yeah. It's not bad. You can dehydrate stuff. I'd you're put, like, like a wallet dehydrating. I would, I would dehydrate like weird shit just to see. Just like to see I how it works. Yeah, yeah, put a stapler in there, see what happens. Okay, a sunset lamp. Wait, hmm. what? This is a sunset lamp. I only see a I've flower vase. Where is this lamp? I don't get yes, it. Yes, this is supposed to be the sunset. Oh. What the hell? What the fuck? Okay, did you know there's a whole sunset lamp like I genre? No, I didn't know that was a thing fuck hold on i'm gonna bring up amazon because i am into kooky lights like you do have my attention okay this is a like multicolor lamp. smart lamp i like lamp uh oh okay this and you can make it all different colors oh that's cool make it look like there's a sun in the room but why i don't know you no, know what you I got recently? Sunlight. Just open your damn window. You know what I got recently that I fucking love? Um, what? Let me let me try to pull it up. But I, okay, I I got this, and it's gonna it's gonna sound really weird. But I got this cube. It's literally like a cube, and it lights up. So it's like a white cube that lights up into different colors, and you can get them. Like I got them for like like as a stool or like as a table. It's like a side table for me and you can like light it up and everything. It's pretty fucking dope. Uh, it uh, sounds confusing. Let me get, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. It's like an LED table. Hold on. 
Let me share, share my screen. I love this thing. And it it's has different. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it is a Tesseract. Yeah, so okay. I, I got what? one. This is, it's not, it doesn't fit in your hand like this, though. The one I have is like, is a, a big, it's like a big table. It's like a big table. You put it on the ground. What? Yeah, you Why? can sit on them. Um, you can use them like as a I stool. <clears throat> like, I don't know why this is so small. The one I got is is massive. It's like you put it on the ground. Oh, here it is. An aesthetic. You like throw some of those in the background. Like, see, they, they have the mini versions. I have a massive mm -hmm. version that you put on the ground. And you touch them and they change color? No, it, it has a remote control. Oh, okay. Like, it, it looks just like that. Oh, there it is. Like, it's the, the big ones. The 16 a 16 inch. incher? Yeah. There it is. See? Oh my God, they're chairs. Yeah, they're like chairs or tables. You can use them as a side table or chair. Mm -hmm. See? Um, oh my God. Frank would kill me if I came home with one of these. He'd be like, what the fuck is this? It's dope. I love this thing. And if this I would give, if I had a, if I had like a nephew at college, I'd send him one of these. I'd be like, all right, here you go. Dude, this has been so helpful for me because I live in a third world country and where we have power outages all the time. And the battery on this sucker lasts a long ass time. So when whenever mm. I, my power goes out now, I just like turn this on and it like lights up my whole house. It's I'd great. I'd be afraid I would break it with my big ass. You wouldn't because it's plastic. It doesn't break. It's wow. Really good. It's good stuff. Okay. I, I recommend. Okay. I'm intrigued. King's Advisors watched last night with Gary. That was awesome. Thank you for watching. Yeah, he is. He's so much fun. Matthew Hammond, Steven Crowder is leaving the blaze. What? What? No. Whoa. Why? Because of all the drama, probably. What drama? What? You don't know about the drama. I don't know about Steve Crowder drama. I don't know about Steve Crowder drama either, but he's probably like, oh, fuck the blaze after all the other drama that went down. Oh, he attacked Brittany Griner. Is that why? Uh, I, what? I have no idea. I want to know. What? 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 I'm looking for. We news. need to know details. See, I don't. Yeah, I'm not seeing any reason why he would leave. Nah, his contract ended and they're just moving in a different direction. Wow. That's a surprise. I thought he was like a mainstay there. Superman has to be at least 6'2". Good point. Teron the Black. Last year, my wife got me a cocktail smoker for old fashions. It's a game changer. Cocktail Ooh. smoker. What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm going to put this in the private chat so you can take a look at it and share it if you want. I just I was trying to find the Steven Crowder stuff, but this popped up on my Twitter and I was like, what the fuck? This is a what is this? An NFT? I. I don't I think so. <laughs> I this is from Clifton Duncan. Some of the lamest shit I've ever seen. So this is Trump. This is he put this on True Social. Major announcement: My official Donald Trump digital trading card. Yes, this is a Trump NFT. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. Go and get your card now. Only ninety nine dollars each. No, Did you get an actual fuck thing for ninety nine dollars? Off with this ninety nine dollars. No, this is not a thing that needs to happen. I bet you anything, Jeremy from like D Day Cobra has bought one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask him. This site you want is this is why I'm broke. Okay. Do they have gifts on there? Nightbreed gift idea. They make whiskey from diabetics' urine. Ew, no. Ew. Mr. Austin, get him some Great. geek grind coffee. I actually really love geek grind coffee. Rod line sags or something for his hobby. 100% he will like. Okay. Dar Darian Murphy. Chrissy, check uncrate. Okay, let's check uncrate. I'm trying to figure out the Stephen Crowder. Crate or thing. uncrate. That, yes, please. Let's get some Stephen Crowder information. Uncrate. Uh, where is Gibbs? Ooh. 
A vintage Tiffany cigar cutter. That's cool. What? A yacht. Old drink prints. Maybe I've kind of fallen out on the, like, on Stephen Crowder for a bit, but like, didn't Steven Crowder like do his own thing like on Mug Club on his own website? Like I didn't even know he was with the Blaze. Like what? Oh yeah. He he never filmed in the like the Blaze studios. He's always been separate. Oh. Okay, well, here's his video. I mean, he posted this on Do you want to watch this for a second? Yes. He says, I and Mug Club are leaving the blaze. Oh, here's a <gasps> there's a YouTube. What? Too. All right, let's watch a little bit of this. Right. Why, Stephen? Why? Mug Club am leaving the blaze. This is a long time coming, um, obviously. And I had been hoping Why? to be, of course, a joint statement. Um, I've lost sleep over this for months. You look like it. Because I knew that I wouldn't be renewing, and of course the Blaze knew that uh, I wouldn't be renewing, but I have no way of reaching you. The fuck? Uh, I'm precluded from being what? able to reach you. And that's why what? if you go in and enter your email so we don't lose touch with you at mugclubforever.com, I, Mug Club, that, am and that's it. leaving. Mind you, he's he's what? got a link to like an hour-long uh like thing called mug huge club announcement the future of mug club and louder with crowder i think i am a mug club member uh i'll post the hold on. i'll post the uh video okay for so you. mug club forever is actually a link to a reddit page what let's see comments okay we're in mug club forever uh, why? I need answers. All right. This is, I never pull up Reddit. Because I'm not a loser in my basement. No, I, let's see if, if we have any answers on why they're leaving. So this is Mug Club Forever Reddit page. Uh, hmm, wonder if they're moving to Daily Wire. Would be a huge win for Daily Wire, but I can't see it. Steven is simply too big for Daily Wire. He's got a larger following than Shapiro, despite being both equally well known. Interesting. Huh. Maybe he just doesn't. Maybe he just makes more money on his own. I'm watching a little bit of his video. Okay. If anybody knows why. I put the I put the link to the video in the in the private chat for you, <clears throat> but it's a it's a while. So. What happens to our Blaze? Yeah, I'm a Blaze member too. It it seems like his contract is up. Okay, Stephen did say on the show today that they aren't leaving the Blaze. What? And that he wants people to be able to watch his show on all platforms. If it turns out that he stretched the truth or lied about it, it also doesn't matter much to me. I'm sure there's plenty going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. So I wouldn't be mad. He's setting things up pretty well to transition to another platform starting in 2023, though. His recent success on Rumble, while banned off YouTube, has uh, further proven that he's doing pretty darn well for himself. He may be onto bigger and better things. Hmm. Legal reasons, general secrecy. <clears throat> Nvidia in the chat said uh, she thinks that the contract's up and being bumped for Alex. <laughs> what? Ouch. Well, think about it. If the Blaze wants to save money, Alex is brand new. They're, you know, they're not gonna. You know, if I don't even I have no. It's idea weird what though making, that but... that Crowder would say that I can't get a hold of you, and then he does this video. Like, what is that about? Yeah. Like, how unprofessional are the Blaze? Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. What? Because Crowder was supposed to do Friday Night Tights last Friday, and yeah. I and it, that makes sense for why he couldn't make it because all this shit's going on. Mm hmm. Seems what like there's a lot going happening? on. Happening. I'm going to the comments. Um, let's go to the comments. Does anybody know what's happening? On a show today, Crowder hinted that the Blaze can't handle the number of viewers and subs that he has. 
What? I gotta check out my mug club status. Uh, you're the only reason why I signed up for the blaze. The blaze has screwed things up by letting you go. That's a big ass show. Mm -hmm. You handled your exit with grace. They did you dirty by taking away the contracts to people who signed up to you. Um, God, could it be something that they're not giving him, uh, like contact info to his subs or something? I mean, he's so big that anyone will follow him wherever he goes. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like he's already got the mug club. Yeah, he's he's fine. Yeah, but I I think it's just really bad timing for the Blaze though, because <laughs> all that this. drama came out about like you know like Shaper. I would literally that. shit my pants if Steve <laughs> showed up at my house. <laughs> <I'm> just, like <laughs> completely out of context comment. He's a true voice. <clears throat> Every one of us. This is just really bad timing for the plays. All the kind words. I mean, like Alex's show was supposed to start, I think, last August, but they're still building his set. I mean, things change. Like, there's always influx of talent at networks. Like, you could say, like, Compound Media was in a bad place because we lost uh, Aaron, moved to Gas Digital, and then. Uh, Pat hit Gino and had to be fired and then this was right after they had to get rid of like two or three shows because they just didn't they weren't pulling in viewers so in a quick period of time we lost like four shows I think wow but compound is like obviously much smaller but these things happen he ran mug club through the blaze the blaze was always probably worried about him going independent uh, they're building a studio for Alex Stein. He said on the blaze that he has over 300,000 subscribers with the mug club. Do the math on that. $99 sometimes, $60 a year sub times 300,000. Shocking the blaze would drop this in any way. Yeah, you wonder how much of that he gets, how much of that blaze gets. How do people Wait, not use YouTube in it's dark mode? $99 a month to be a Month I don't month? think so. No, it might be a for a year. Oh. Hmm. I don't even know how to switch YouTube into dark mode. I'll look at that later. It's in um your settings. Oh, makes sense. Good morning, girls. That is all. Thank you, Scratch Pan. Hi. Good morning, Patrick T. Dude, I want that. Might help with shopping. What? Okay. See, I've never heard of these sites. Dude, I want that. It's, great. it's a Facebook. It's a Facebook group. What? Why? Dot com. Is it like Facebook Marketplace? Okay, no, it's a website. IJK. Okay. Torgo the White, Michael Mouse's book, The White Pill, is now up. Let's push it to number one on Amazon. Stay clear of hardcover for now. The price has not been updated yet. Oh, cool. I better buy his book. Let's go to Amazon. White Pill Malice. <laughs> the hardcover, the price is set at $250. That's crazy. I wonder why he did that. There is no soft cover. There's only Kindle. Boo. <clears throat> I like that's gonna, I like classical reading. That's gonna be hard to buy. I can't spend two fifty on a hardcover book. Two fifty. He set the price that for some reason. I forget. I forget why. Like the hell kind holder. of book is this? I don't think it's the real place. Honestly, look up. This is why I'm broke. Why are you broke? This is why I'm broke. The Internet's Mall. I've never been here. Okay, I'm jumping around. Oh, my God. My nose is itchy. Oh, my God. I've never seen this. I've never wow. seen this either change your whole wall a do-it-yourself vasectomy kit that's fun 
Oh my God. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what? Foolproof stocking stuffers for men. <laughs> I love this. Is? Shark That's dog. Fun. What is that? That's great. Shark horse. Who doesn't want that? See, for the shark lover, that would be great. Like, I know one off the top of my head. Wow. A taco holder butt plug? Okay. Wow. Wow. Cheese printer? You could print on cheese? That's cool. Wait, what uh, is the site again? Can you, can you send me uh, this? This is why I'm broke.com. Okay. <gasps> this is fucking oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. See, and 25 bucks. Like, this is... This is this is great. Wow. Box is great. This really looks like water on your floor. I gotta I gotta bring up this other thing. I like it. Wow. How cool is that? This, like is this. awesome. Very cool for a bathroom. Very cool for a bathroom. Not so much for a living room. Like I don't know if I would put this in my living room. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Or you secretly put it down and then you scare someone in your house. Be like, oh, my God, it's flooding. Yeah. Oh, my God, my house is flooded. The ocean is here. <laughs> That's really neat. Okay. Rules for not giving a fuck. Thick Pokemon. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. Pokemon cards are like with big butts. That's really funny. Language translator earbuds. That's good for a traveler. What Hidden the heck door is that kit. Thing? That's cool. Wait, go back up. What's what's that thing to the far right? Yeah, that, what is that? A lover's embrace coffee table. Oh, it's a coffee table. Ew, it's fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, I was it's, like, what is that? Fifteen thousand dollars for what? What yeah, is that? The rich swinger friend who has everything. Oh my god. Everything I'm gonna do is a legal book. That's cute. Two person survival tent. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of neat stuff here. A fun, what is this, a carpet? Wait, what is that one? The the one in the middle with all the glowy Please things. And this looks cool. What is that? Make your driveway look like something out of a fairy tale using these glow stones. Okay, uh, that's cool. Ooh, very whimsical. What are they, solar powered? I wonder. Ooh, what is this Battle, thing? Battle of Helms Deep Lego set. This oh, that's like an ice tray. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. This is neat. I like. I, I would buy that ice tray. Yeah. If, if you need to make like small ice for some reason. Yeah. And I, I like how like. Okay. The Ew. Way you bring out the ice. Oh, oh, oh. A bill goes to What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it was $6,000. Why? $6,000? What the fuck? Gross. Fuck. Yeah, no. Why does anyone need that? No Why do you need it. this? Gross. Cascade found who found. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Cheese. But you probably end up wasting a lot of cheese. This is good for like a party. You're not the just going to, like, fire up the cheese fondue on, like, a random-ass day. Dude, look at that other thing. It's like a fucking blow-up boat. Oh, I was it's a blow-up boat. This is cool. Inflatable That's fucking speedboat. cool. This is very cool. This is perfect. Like, if you're a rich person with an actual boat, yeah. then you buy one of these. Like, your kid's in it. But go in the inflatable boat. It's adult oh time. Oh, my God. Dude, Glow I, in the dark. I, I would buy that Penis. squeezy thing for Anna because she likes those Ew. weird, like, pimple popping things. This is disgusting. No. So she would probably like that because she's weird. It's fucking gross. What are these dick dinos? What the fuck? Yeah. A dinosaur in the shape of a penis. Some Tactical cargo socks. <laughs> this That's funny. This did take a turn. I like Ugh. the cargo socks. That's funny. That is really funny. <laughs> Be like, I can't stand your cargo shorts. And then you show up in these. Yeah. Fiber optic hoodie. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Useless box. Try wearing that to a rave. Great. 
Jigsaw piece. Oh my god, tiny. No, no, no. That would make you nuts. No. Look how tiny this is, this puzzle. That would drive me crazy. A million pieces. Nope. I like puzzles, but not I don't want to torture myself. Ooh, peanut butter and jelly of the month. Ooh, what is that? It's Iron Man's head. It's a helmet. Mystery vintage t-shirts. That's kind of cute. Fiber optic ceiling. What the hell is this? Oh, an inflatable fort. Just build your own. Yeah, just build your own. Oh, this is cute. How to talk to small people. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, somebody buy this for comics division. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Or for Lila. Oh, or for Lila. Yeah. God. Or even what Anna. Is she's this? tiny. What the fuck is that? I have no idea. Welcome, welcome to the exciting world of Plumpus ownership. What? I'm afraid to even click on this. Don't click on it. I clicked on it. Click on it. Ew. It looks like just. What, what is it? looks like looks viruses like, or looks something. Like genitals. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that is. No, this is not. This seems wrong. Okay. Infinity cube fidget toy. Oh, I like infinity. What is that? The no pressure head bed. Oh, shower head. Roto wipe. Ew. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it looks like something like in a car. It looks like like a sandpaper. Look. Why would anyone want this? The butthole stretcher 9000. Oh, boy. <laughs> Get that for Jack Murphy, guys. Yeah, I Perfect have the 8000. Victim's name. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Ew. A silicone mask. Tic Tac gun. That's fun. That's funny. Wow. Absent father action figure. <laughs> oh, I like that rug. That's fun. <gasps> this is scary. Vortex optical illusion rug. I like that. That's fucking fun. That's great. Whoa, that would freak me out. Only eight fifty. See, this is the kind of gift. Yeah, this is good. Dinner tricks. Coin size tracking device. See, no, I don't like this shit. <gasps> Look at the cute little bonsai. Oh, passive aggressive note. These would have been great in my house growing up. That's funny. Instead of expressing yourself, you just leave one of these notes. That see, that would be a funny gag gift for like yeah. couples. Yep. A fifty-five gallon drum of lube. Full face sunglasses. I used to see Asian people wear that in Vancouver all the time. Why? They really hate the sun. <clears throat> Stupid though. You look like a robot. A poop. Well, no. They, they they think having white skin is like, you know, the best thing. They don't want to get dark. Oh, slip on sneakers. Those are ugly. Yeah. Megalodyne night light cube. That's cool. A large cushion floor chair. Just buy a chair. <laughs> That's so random. That's funny. Infinity gauntlet. <laughs> it's a cleaning gauntlet. That's so funny. Wow. That's really funny. What is it? Like, just, is that just like Monopoly or is there like. It's the long special. It's the longest game ever edition. Oh. It's already too long. Yeah. It's funny though. Human skull fireplace logs. That's kind of funny. Realistic dog head masks. <laughs> <laughs> Just to freak out your dogs. If you like a dude, if they have a muffin one, that would be funny. I'm checking it out. Uh it only comes in this poodle. No. I spoke too soon. Okay, well, shoot. This really we does see it. Up. This we does open it. things up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch screens. You can get a variety of dog heads. You can get a oh. fox head. Look how fucked up some of these look. Yeah, that looks fucked up. <laughs> the poodle one looks good. This is something you wear to like a sex party, I feel like. Oh my god, this is some furry shit. Yeah, for no, sure. No. 
I feel like these were at Epstein's Island. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. Ah. Goodbye. No. Damn, who told me about this website? Russell Hall. <laughs> a tiny TV? That's cute. Porn for women of a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Jumping spider toy? Oh, God. Oh. Actually, I don't like fun. Oh, Ocean man. wave motion lamp? That's cool. That's funky. I like it. I like that. What's that thing? Spider-Man web shooter. Oh my god, that's amazing. But what's the other one? Give your primo good home worthy their darkness. I showed you there. Weed plus. Oh, it's for weed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Oh wow, this is like legit. Yeah, you can stash it here. There's like a section for rolling here. That's a fucking nice kit right there. Yeah, that's great. Wow. Dick pick stick. Tabletop glass fireplace. That's really cute. Oh, I like that. That's adorable. I love that. I want one. Me too. Uh, a heated table. Okay, this I don't like the direction that this kind of stuff is heading. This is like leading to like a horizontal lifestyle that I don't support. Like anything I that makes you want to just lay down all day, I don't like. Yeah, like get out. Like stop. Yeah. Get, get out. your house. Yeah. <laughs> Help. I can't have whoop ass. Perfect. <gasps> Ooh, a pyramid planter. This is cool. This is cute. Again, with the jerky. Puzzle. Beer can opener. A meme Bible? Oh, Holy meme funny. Bible? What is this? That sounds funny. Wow. Amazon. They don't show you what's in it. Very cute, though. It's like Spencer's Gifts has moved online. Basically. Yeah, I feel like this is like Spencer's Gift, but like door knocker balls. <laughs> like how that Ew. girl's like, should I be touching this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She seems so disturbed. Yeah, that's that's funny. Oh, my God. A mini Nintendo. Oh, I have one of those. Wow, it actually works. Yeah, of course, they have the ones that are loaded with games. What is the point of this middle finger octopus? I, why not? Well, it's, only, yeah, it's, it's only it, six bucks. You just it looks very full off. Yeah. Okay, the single chip challenge thing. Wow. Ooh, the book of unusual knowledge. I wonder what's in that. It looks small. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I thought this was a finger. A cup. Okay, actually, I feel like my dad would like that. Out of character star. Oh my god, I like this. <laughs> I like the Darth Vader drinking tea. That's funny. That's cute. I don't like this chunky blanket. This looks like she's being eaten alive by an alien. Mm. Yeah, you. Yeah, see, you're not into like the the big no, pattern thing. It's too big of a knit. Oh, big knitters. Yeah, I don't like big knitters either. Ooh, tactical wallet. Moving Rorschach mask. Wow. A butt training clip. Oh, my God. Training. Wow. Get that for Nick Ricada, guys. A lot of this, there's a lot of gay, like, the the, the butthole. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of gay stuff on here. The butt training clip. <laughs> Human bones. Wow. That took a dark this turn. This is so cool. This is all a floor decal. Yeah, it's like that ocean thing, but this is like a cave floor or something. That's cool. 3D printed Mandalorian armor. That's cool. Self-igniting pipe. Matrix Ooh, lamp. Matrix lamp. Wow. That's, that's cool. Okay. This is a lot of boot, like uh, like boy stuff here. Firearm cabinet table. That's cool. For yeah, for Americans, that's dope. Oh right, I forgot your Mexican <laughs> coronavirus mask Halloween costume. That's funny. Oh my god, oh my god, it's like a giant Snorlax cosplay costume for twenty bucks. That's worth it. 
that's worth it. But where are you going to store that? Right. It's the totally only blaster rifle. Oh my god, office Legos. That's cute. Oh With my friends. god, that's so funny. Oh, I love it. Oh, there are moms way worse than you. <laughs> Cat litter box. Oh. That's cool. I hate those. Those never work. No? Okay. No. Above ground emergency shelter. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> like, that thing is such a <laughs> myth. Because, like, I got one, and it, it it's even messier than cleaning like the fucking cat litter by yourself. Like, really? The, yeah, because because you're like basically like taking the thing and shaking it, and like taking the dust everywhere. You're just kicking up piss dust. Like, it's just fucking gross. Okay. Well, cats are gross. Um, yeah. Oh, face masks. Okay, animal. Okay, if you're like into skiing and you want to look like a dog and weird people out when you go down the mountain, I guess that's cool. More furry Pep stuff. talk generator print. That's cool. That's funny. I like that Venom mask. Venom helmet mask. That's cool. It's like a bike helmet. But That's it's scary. Venom. I get that for a bike messenger. <gasps> Slushy machine. Ooh. Whoa. That's. That's fun. That's really, really cool. Like, if you have, like, a movie room or something with, like, a little popcorn machine, you can get that. Dude, is it hard to make your own slushy? You have to keep it outside, I think. Wow. I'm obsessed with the site now. Yeah. Wait, what was the site called again? This is why I'm broke.com. My God, I'm going to go broke. Yeah. Whoa, beef. Um, I hope they ship to Mexico. <gasps> Ew, why would you want this? I guess it's for people who have fetishes. Who love cr like crime and horror. Make it look like you're bleeding. Orcaholics bear coat. I love that. That's great. Clona Willie. I already have one of these. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, though. Somehow I managed by Michael Scott. That's uh, amazing. I want that. That's funny. Wow. A murder hornet. Ew. Oh, I love the little Yoda book <gasps> That's thingy. Cool. That's cute. This is very cool. Wow. I love that. This is perfect for Anna. Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. A glamping tent. Dang. Shower margarita. Okay, yeah. Probably from the same people who brought you the beer in the shower. This is cool. This this magnetic rubble cool. run. Yeah. This just became from like, what am I going to get some men in my life to? I'm going to buy all of these things for myself. Yeah. Wow. I, I really do like that puzzle thing, though. That's fucking dope. Offensive crayons. I think I know the person who made these. Oh, a mini replica of your own car. An air rifle. Arrow rifle. Blackhead remover. Yeah. Ooh, I like that fucking SUV camping window tent, man. See, What's that? that's great bit? for Cancun. because <laughs> It's so sunny here all the time. That would be great for here. Wow. Dang. Okay, you can buy your uranium. Radioactive uranium ore. Okay, that's great. Very low level of radioactivity, but it works for testing Geiger counters. Wow. Tactical coffee mug? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's funny. That's fun. If you're into gadgets. The subscription box for guys. Go back up for that for that one. What is that? Okay, so we've got an axe in here. I got a little hatchet. Oh, see, there's, there's another person getting into this 
crates for men industry. It's the bespoke post. Oh my God. Gadgets galore. Ooh, a, a knife. knife. A siphon. Okay. A booze, booze casket. Another knife. Ugh, okay. I'm already like All really. Right. I'm, I'm really annoyed by this website already. Yeah, terrible website. I uh, need to know your family origins to buy a This is for like annoying hipsters that live in Williamsburg. 100%. Ugh. What an annoying website. Just show me Terrible. the Terrible. Take me to the quiz. Quiz. What kind of boxes should we send you? Barware and mixology? Uh yes. Very interesting. Home decor. Are we opening home decor? Yeah, I'm interested. But also answering these like a girl. Style. Ugh, I already hate this quiz. I already hate this whole what? thing. Get out of here with this. Done. Abandoning the quiz. Um, Holocron Library on your YouTube avatar. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool. Oh, for... Mug club, it was 99 a year, but 60 if you were a student or a veteran. Makes Interesting. sense. Whoa. Wow, now we know what to buy men. But don't go to that bespoke website. That looks stupid. Wow. Cool. A meme Bible. A lot of cool things. A lot of cool things. Yeah, I'm very interested because I I was stuck about shopping for something for someone. Yeah, it's just random fun stuff. Yeah. Now I can like figure something out. Wow. Cool. Useless uh, things says that <laughs> the Admiral. Useless But that, you know, like, but that's kind of like when you get. Like the useless things is like in Christmas is like, you know, a lot of times it's like stuff you would never buy for yourself. And it's like, yeah. oh, here's a fun gift. And it's like, oh, that's nice. You know? Right. Because it's how many times can you give sweaters, socks? Yeah. Underwear. It's like, okay. And it's fun, it's, it's just stuff you'd game. never buy for yourself. Yeah. And then, but you get it for somebody else and they're like, oh, this is so cool. And somebody's like, you know, where'd you get that from? Oh, I got it for Christmas. Like, you know, yeah. it's like. Oh, it's a lemon with an eye. You yeah. don't buy yourself that. So random. <gasps> predator cosplay. Oh, man. You can buy the whole Predator costume. Crazy. Look at that. That's scary. I think if you know a seven foot tall person, you get them this Predator costume. Oh, man, for like almost 2,000 bucks. Woo! That's crazy. <gasps> How cute is this? A personalized Jerry Can mini bar. That's, That's fun. Wall. I like that. Good for a man cave. Cat in a box. Savage choices. I like that. Hmm. I would, I would play that. I like random party games. Yeah. Ooh, a personalized Viking axe. That's cool. Ooh, that's fun. A holy blade. Wow, that's big. Fuck it's I'm true. I like the I like the game above. Fuck it, I'm bored. Something yeah. activity book for adults. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. Over the sink drying rack. That looks cool. That looks cool. Like that. <coughs> Ew. Bless you. Ew, the earwax I can't handle. Ah, that. that's Ugh. rough. Ooh, interior lighting for your car. That's cool. Ooh. Get ready like to get that. fingered. <laughs> That's what this lighting says to me. Oh, I like that thing too right there. The if you're like into board games and stuff like that, that's fun to to get that for your like table. A board game table. How is it only yeah. $5? Oh, it's how to turn a regular table into, into it. Yeah, it's the pieces. You buy the that's little extra cool. pieces and you put it you hang them from your table. I like that. That's very cool. Good idea. A witchcraft kit? Oh, man. 
That's your thing right there, isn't it? No, I don't like witchcraft. I like crystals, but I don't like spells. I saw crystals in there. That's why I was like, oh. Yeah. A mouse jiggle jiggler. Jiggle jiggle. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff here. A penis Psychedelic bodysuit? Dude, look at that. That's if you're like, if you do a lot of drugs, I guess. Yeah, like if you're going to like do a lot of acid and go to a rave. How <laughs> to sell your feet. <laughs> oh my God, that's so hilarious. hilarious. Online. Oh, wow, that's funny. Wow. I'm going to check this out. <clears throat> that is so Cyber, gladi Cyber gladiator arm. That, that's funny. Wow. This is hilarious. All right, I'm going to definitely keep looking at this site. Um. I'm going to wrap it up. Nina, thanks for joining me. This was really fun. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Chrissy. It was so very surprising to but, come hang out with good. you this early. Very good. Very, very good. Um, let's see. Who do I have tonight? Who's tonight? Brittany Andrews. Okay. I think she's an adult film star. Ooh. Uh, Nina, where can people find you? You can find me on my channel, Nina Infinity or Nina 7 Infinity on Twitter. And uh, I have a show called Infinite Hope where I talk about good things right before Friday Night Tights. Uh, starts at 2.45 Eastern. But I think I might be changing the time for that because Friday Night Tights is going to start earlier. So I might be starting at 2 hmm. Eastern from now on. I haven't decided. Do you think I should do that? Do you think I should change the time? What time is it now? Three two forty five Eastern. Two forty. Yeah, do it too. Do it on the hour. Okay. On the hour two. is always better. Okay, we're gonna go two o'clock Eastern from now on. I like there that. Tomorrow, tomorrow, two o'clock. Yeah, that's, that's good. Right. It's a good lead in. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Thanks, you guys. Later. Bye. Bye.